Food waste in our horticultural sector is a big problem with around 20% of all harvested produce, 20% basically lost. Now, a new Kiwi developed technology could be about to change all of this by turning it into high value dried ingredients, powders, and biofuel. Grant Very is New Zealand Food Innovation Network with us this morning. Good morning, Grant. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Ryan. Good to have you on the show. So first of all, when, when we say lost, what, what are we talking about here? What's happening? So basically we're talking about, uh, this is a story about the farmers being able to extract more value uh, from their fresh produce. So essentially our farmers are out there doing a great job growing our produce, uh, providing us the, the food, but essentially there's a component where they lose a certain amount, the 20% that can't be realised value. So this is about valuising that waste stream. What, when we say lo lost, where's it going? Is it because is this the, like the ugly fruit and veggies that we hear about? Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of that, and it's also about the uh, you know normal fresh processing. There's a certain grading process, so some will make their grade, some doesn't, which talks to that that ugly fruit side of things. So essentially, those farmers are then left with the product that doesn't make the fresh grade. That needs to go into either um, stock feed or back into the land. Because we were hearing a lot of the stuff would used to be donated and then there's a whole bunch of food safety issues where they, they kind of put the kibosh on that. Yeah, that, that still happens and that's a really good service that those organisations are providing. I mean, that's, that's huge for our, um, for our communities. But even they also incur loss because it's perishable. So True. at some point that fresh produce goes off and this opportunity that Powered by Plants has brought to the New Zealand Food Innovation Network is to say, we've got a food system, it's actually a systems orientated process that allows us to actually extract more value from that food loss. So we can actually put some dollars back into the pockets of our growers. All right, talk us through it. What are you actually doing? So essentially, Powered by Plants is the company we're working with. Yeah. Um, at the Food Bowl, we've done some processing work with them where they extract value from that loss and turn it into either dried ingredients for uh, being able to take to markets for the ingredient sector, food service, etc., bakeries or um, flavouring. Uh, so in fact, I've got one for you, Ryan, if you'd like to try some. Love a prop. <laughs> Love a feed in the morning too. So. What is that? Blueberry. Oh, yummy. So, so the difference being, you've now got a product that's stable for 18 months that can be sold throughout their cycle, helping their cash flows and providing some leverage back to the farmers in regards to what they do in a bumper season. So yeah. ironically, sometimes... Well, Quite good, the very strong, right? So, so hence why it can be fantastic for the ingredient sector for flavouring and so forth. Yeah. So this is giving it a whole, a, a literally a whole new lease on life. Absolutely, and a whole new stream of value that they can create, uh, which in turn provides a whole new economic uh, opportunity for innovators to come through uh, our network at the New Zealand Food Innovation Network to trial out new products, new businesses. Essentially, it's a it's a great opportunity for a whole new realm of economic development. How do you get the produce from the farm to through this process? Yeah, so this is the this is the solution really the IP that Powered by Plants are working on, which we've got the technical extraction process sorted, but now the real IP sits in being able to provide that uh, uh, that supply chain and the actual hub and spoke approach which then gives us as a country an opportunity to wrap that up as some type of IP. This is not a problem just for New Zealand. Uh, all our neighbouring countries, island countries around us, that uh, the Philippines, Thailand, Indonesia, our neighbouring countries, they also suffer the challenge of food loss. Uh, with the small land block owners, that's really critical for their ability to survive, uh, let alone have a chance to thrive. So I've heard a taste of this. What about the biofuel side of it? So they have two horizons really. They have the horizon one which is extracting uh, and utilising the waste streams and turning it into value. The horizon two is then to be able to take it into a circular bio loop where you actually provide an opportunity to get the biomass that comes out of that, there's still some loss, and then create energy on farm, uh, biofertilisers, biostimulants. So it's a really exciting systems change project. Okay. Their goal is to process 8,000 tonnes of produce surplus and waste annually when at full scale. When, do you know what their you know, ambitions are, when they might get there? Well, it's, it's a really great question because uh, some of the challenges we see, because we deal with a lot of food and beverage innovators, uh, and these types of systems approaches have a huge opportunity for impact, but they need capital. And so the challenge that the food and beverage sector has is often there's not the opportunity for... Uh, 
capital to be invested to allow them to have that opportunity to scale and commercialise. So we are a publicly funded infrastructure that allows them to come in and trial out these innovations, which then, as I mentioned earlier, is an economic growth initiative set up in 2011. We're a bridge though, and we're a bridge from the public funding, although we do have commercial charges to be able to cover our costs to the, to the clients as well, to then be able to have private investors come in and use the capital to unlock. And that's what these guys need right now, is a bit of private Cash. capital. Yep, private capital to unlock the opportunity. All right, well, I look forward to seeing how it progresses. Grant, thanks for coming on the show.